friends very good morning in this video we are going to draw the development of a pentagonal pyramid which is resting on its base and there is a section plane which is perpendicular to vp and inclined at an angle to hp such that that particular section plane is cutting the solid parallel to one of the slant edges of the pyramid so we require to draw the development of the lateral surface of the pyramid friends here as you all know we have to place the object on hp such that to obtain one of the slant edges it could be placed like this with an edge of the base normal to vp either this way or the other way also you can write down only the condition is that one of those slant edges say one of these like this that should be parallel to vp and now friends i have placed the object on hp that is the pyramid on hp which one of the base edges ab normal to vp and mark this as a b c d and e we have marked the top view of this and we have joined o the vertex of the pyramid to all the corners a b c d and e this oa ob oc od etc represent the slant edges in the top view and o is the vertex corresponding point o dash in the front view represents the vertex of the solid now after this i have projected all these points and obtained these points above x y a dash b dash this is going to be c dash e dash and this is d dash friends we have got the front view on top view now after obtaining the front view on top view of the pyramid we need to draw the section plane so in the question it says it is cut by a section plane which is normal to vp and parallel to one of the slant edges if you observe the front view o dash d dash represents one of the slant edges and the corresponding top view is od and this od is parallel to xy hence o dash d dash represent the true length of this slant edge remember for all the development of any solid we need to have the true length of the slant edges and you know very well a pentagonal pyramid will have five base edges and five triangular surface on its lateral face so here i have just marked a sector here with o dash as the vertex and here we have got 1 2 3 4 and 5 triangles and since it is a pyramid i am joining all these corners of the base because it will have the straight edges now friends after this section plane cuts the solid this part is removed whereas this part is retained for the purpose of drawing the development of the pyramid now what we do friends here since od is removed remember since o dash d dash that is a slant edge is totally removed we have to commence the development only from d that is od only so i am going to start here this is b e f g h and then again a b c d sorry a d e then you have got you have to do d e then a b c d e that is a this is b this is c and this is d friends remember the commencing line on the ending line should have the same marking and remember this o dash d dash you will have a length is equal to true length that is o dash d dash so i am going to mark here t l true length this also true length and all these slant edges will have the same true length that is very obvious now friends let us commence the development and see how to obtain the development of this part which is shown right so friends if we start from this point the section plane ss is cutting the base here this is a full base let us see where all it is cutting so from there you can write a vertical line downward 
to see where all it is cutting. So it is cutting the base edge ED here and also the CD here. So ED, CD are the true length. Here on ED mark this point nearer to E. On ED nearer to E. So I get a point here. On ED nearer to that. Similarly on CD nearer to C. On CD nearer to C. So we have got these two points. On CD it is nearer to C. Okay. Nearer to C. Yes, right. So we have got these two points. That is on the base. Next, the vertical edge or the slant edges OC and OE are cut here. So OC is here and OE is here. So friend, what is to be done now? We have to shift that point where this is being cut to the true length line because these two do not represent the true length. So friends, I am going to mark this distance on OC and OE. So on OC, I mark a point here and on OE also at the same distance, I mark a point that this distance is equal to this distance. Friends, next it is cutting the slant edges O dash A dash, O dash B dash at this point. Again you observe this is not the true length and shift that to the lost line that is the true length line and take that measurement on OA and OB. So we have got OA here and we have got OB and OA you have got. So friends basically you have got two points here, two points here and two points here. So totally we have got six points here. So we will mark them as 1, 2, 3, etc. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and then this point is 6. So we will join all these points by straight lines. So I am going to join 1 to 2 by a straight line, 2 to 3 another straight line, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. Now friends, A, B, C and E are retained in the development. So here friends, I am going to join this part by a straight line, a straight edge here, straight edge, straight edge and again this part a straight edge. Now you can see that is this portion on OE and OB are retained. So I have to show this line as full line. This is also full line, this is also full line, again this is the full line. Friends, we have got the development of this part P as shown in figure here and this will give you the development of P. That is development of the lateral surface of this part of the pyramid when it is cut by a section plane inclined to HP, normal to VP at a distance of 8 mm from one of the end generators O dash D dash. Friends, apart from this part and all these lines, this line, this, this, this and this are to be shown by very thin lines because they are removed from the section plane. Friends, I hope the presentation was interesting. Please go through the complete video. If you like this video, do share this video with all your friends without fail. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Have a blessed day.